Hello, good evening, everybody. Lai, lai, lai. Start of the training tonight. So, waiting for the first person to join me tonight. So, let's see how many of you are online already. Okay, let me see. Can I see my own channel? Uh, just want to make sure I set it up correctly. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay. Uh, so uh, I'm going to set up over at the uh, Facebook as well. So just give me one moment, please. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Busa, technical training. Yep, if you have just joined me, uh, can you please give a shout out? Hi, 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 Ong, hi, Wong. Okay, very good. I see that you, you responded means uh, you can see the video loud and clear. Very good. Very good. So uh, let me set up on the Facebook first uh, to go live on Facebook so that I have got two channels running. It's very important because if I don't do that, it later in the middle of the presentation, the Facebook may give me problems. So those of you who are already online, over at YouTube, just give me one moment, okay? Just one moment. I'm setting up nicely. So, hola. Kozaimas. Selamat malam. Selamat malam. Taja hao. Taja wan sang hao. Okay, let me see. Do I do this correctly? Okay. 我在设置的, uh, sorry, I am setting up on the Facebook Live. Yes, it's live on Facebook. Let me confirm. No, not here. It should be live here. Okay, good. Okay, so we are about ready to start. Three more minutes to the... Okay, three more minutes. Okay, three more minutes. Three more minutes to the training. So just getting waiting to get more people to come online. Those of you who are already in, um, are you here for the first time or you have seen the earlier uh, training? Uh, give me some response over at the YouTube, over at the Facebook. We are live at two. Holy shit, I forgot to share the YouTube. Edit post. Or go to YouTube Live. Okay, put it there, the YouTube Live. Forgot to put it at the Facebook. So you know, we have encountered some problem with the uh, Facebook Live before. It got terminated halfway through the session. Okay, recently a lot of people go live. So we have a bit of a problem over there. Okay, so yeah, third time. Take sun. Bye, Aisan. Third time. Nice. Anyone over at Facebook? Uh, can you give me a response if you are hearing this loud and clear and also the video is clear so that I can continue with the presentation? Those of you who are already online, do me a favor over at Facebook. Can you please help me share this to the rest of the of your audience or to the rest of the world? Uh, on your wall, okay. Share this on your wall so that you can get your friends. Those who, those of you who, who have got friends who are interested can uh, join in, okay. And then those people who forgot that tonight, Thursday night, chat Nexus night, we are going to learn transaction reading, okay. Can also join in. Okay, we are still reading. Thanks, Nicole. Mm, your initial is very familiar. In two. Okay. Hey, do me a favor. Please help me share this. Uh, we need to see hundreds of people. Okay, hundreds of people uh, are joining in. Then it is very meaningful for me to conduct this uh, training. Okay, the, the last thing, actually every presenter, the last thing we want is, you know, we spend one hour and you know, we, we don't want to only impact a small number of you. 
So we want to impact more people during our one hour will be the best. Okay, so if you can help us share this uh, live training out to, to your friends, to anyone uh, who, who is interested in training, we'll get them to come online and then attend this training will be good. Okay. So may I trouble you to go and share this out for us. Okay, Facebook, uh, 34, 34 people online. We need more, we need more, come on, come on. Okay, so um, before I introduce and get started, uh, meanwhile, let me do my screening, the daily screening, 8.30 now, okay. 不迟也不早, 刚刚好, 8.30 now, okay. So I'm going to... Uh, to share this link. So to share this link. Uh, share. Okay. okay. So as you can see, this is the screener that I'm using our our tool. Okay, let me say thanks to my teammates for sharing this uh, video. Okay. 33. Oh, come on. More people share, please. Get more people in, please. Do me a favor. PM still doing announcement now. Oh, okay, okay. I, I already give a 30 minutes allowance. So, um, is the MCU going to continue? Did he say anything about that? I didn't get to watch because I don't know Bahasa, so I, I didn't watch. I was waiting for the English version to be out after the announcement. So what, what did the PM say? Is this going to be uh, an, the extension of the MCU? Well, Singapore is going to be extended all the way to 1st of June. Okay, then we soon be have a school holiday in the month of May. Okay, to, to save time. Also good, uh, then the parents don't need to be at home nagging the children to attend the online classes. So over in Malaysia, can you share with me? Is the MCO going to continue? I, I, I was suspecting that he may announce some measures about the Ramadan, like, like the, the going to the mosque, prayers and all that. I'm not too sure about whether the MCO is going to be extended or not. So if you, if you have any info, please share. Uh, at the uh, Facebook or at the YouTube, okay. I'm live at both YouTube and Facebook, so if you can share with me what's going on over at the PM announcement, maybe good. Oh, thanks, Jonathan. He's talking about a lot of other things. Okay, so the all important announcement uh, will be released later. So we, we, we just wait for it. Danny Leong say it's going to be extended for another two weeks. Another two weeks. So the MCO is going to be extended for another two weeks. Okay. So for Malaysia, will be second week of May. Okay, second week of May. But the investment, okay, investors, uh, we are concerned also about the movement of the stock market. Okay, the last four weeks the stock market has been going up only this week we start to see some selling okay so we're going to touch upon this uh in the seminar today and okay still waiting for more people to join in 57 56 uh we, we want to see hundreds can we see 100 tonight okay uh, i'm going to go through my list over here okay uh, i'll just uh continue doing my work while waiting for more people to join in. So first stock, Aeon, Aeon Shopping Mall, the one, bank the one. Oh, C, CNBC. Okay, so I got, I got a, a message coming in 12th of May. Yeah, extended to 12th of May. Okay, second week of May. The stock market may have already already priced only priced in uh, one month of uh, MCO. No? So now we extend another two weeks. Don't we'll know whether tomorrow we'll see more selling in the market. Uh. Okay, so we, we take a look from the chart point of view. Anyway, I saw a lot of weakness in the in the stock market this week. 
So a lot of stock. You, if you have been joining this uh, webinar training for the last three sessions, okay, the last three sessions, it was easy to find stocks to buy. Okay, it was easy. Uh, this week, I start to realize the charts has changed. So it is pretty difficult to find very easy to trade charts. Okay, so that in a nutshell is what we are going to cover tonight. Why do we see a lesser opportunity now? Okay. 58, 59. Okay, can you do me a favor, please? Uh, help me share this uh, Facebook uh, live to your friends, to the wall. Okay, five minutes in. B Pharma, I don't want. Faja, I don't want. Hmm? Uh, Faja, okay, Faja, this is interesting. Okay, interesting. Let's take a look at the weekly charts. Yeah, I, I, I don't like this. I don't like this. Is it going up? Uh? Coming down. Volume coming down. No good. Uh, I'm going to cover in more details when we start the seminar proper. Now I'm just doing some uh, pre-event preparation. Okay, just doing some pre-event. The jobs numbers is uh, jobless claim is out from the US. Okay, and then you are seeing the US futures going higher. It's already priced in. The, the sharp sell off during the first two, three weeks of May already, uh, of March already priced in all these uh, bad news. You can see the market doesn't go down lower. Okay, there comes a time when the market will start to pay attention to all these bad news. So we, we just have to keep a lookout. One thing that may be holding up the market is the lowering number of infections across the world. Okay, that, that may be a, a, a sign of uh, positive. Okay, but not in Singapore. Lah. Singapore, we are still having very consistently at least four number or four digits kind of infections. Now, those of you who are in Malaysia may not uh, understand the cases in Singapore is not that serious. Lah. It's not the community spread. Okay, it is restricted to the dormitory. That means uh, these people are foreign workers and they, they are living conditions are very close together. So very easy to spread to one another. And we are doing a lot of systematic testing on these foreign workers. So the numbers are very big. Okay, very big. 89 of you already. Okay, okay. I start now. Eh? Okay, let me go through the, the list here. Okay, Faja, I, I don't like. Okay, later I will explain to you why I like, why I don't like. Then you understand. Oh, HLT got news this week, right? Therefore, the, the stock chart went up. Okay, the daily chart should be no chance. Uh. Okay, HLT. Let me check my Diva HLT. What does it do? Okay, while we wait for more people to join us. Ooh. This is our penny share. Uh, I, I say in Chinese, uh, ren pu jian xie, sa ren pu jian xie. Also, usually I, I avoid. Lei Hong, X stock. X stock is still interesting. Two weeks ago, my webinar was talking about X stock, Lei Hong, CCK, Tio Sing. Later, we, pay, we go back to this stock and, and take a look. So, this one, I'm not familiar with this stock, so probably not going to touch it. Uh, which I don't want. Nadi. Oh, Marion is joining us tonight. Hi, Marion. Okay, 91 of you just need nine more packs, cross the 100 mark, and then I shall start. Okay, meanwhile, I will just go through this list of stock and see what am I going to trade tomorrow. You saw that every time I see the stock name, but I, I, I forgot to check. I, I always give it a miss. Oh, yeah, now I know why I give it a miss. <laughs> Okay, uh, what, what it means here is the more red you see is bad. Uh, later when I start properly, I will, I will explain. So don't worry, don't worry. Okay, oh, YouTube only got 25. Uh. It's very sad, uh, YouTube, 25. Uh. Can I see 100 over at YouTube as well? Okay, WTK. Uh, oh, WTK looks interesting. Hmm. It's not that this kind of stock with a uh, red color in the fundamental means that the company price will not go up. It's just that when it go up, as it, as it comes down, right, it will, it will cause a lot of retail investors to lose money because most of the retail investors do not practice cut loss. Right? They don't get out of the stock when they are wrong. So that is why I say this kind of stock, there you go. One fine example for you. See, such a high volume. 
after that, the price keep coming lower and lower and lower. And, and the retail investor may think that uh, it's okay to hold. Uh. Later, when the uptrend resumes, the stock price will go up. Oh, that is what caused a lot of people to lose a lot of money. And there's another one over here. See, one allows look so strong, you know, deceivingly strong. Okay, deceivingly strong. Then after that, when it starts to come down, then you ask yourself, hey, how come the buyers all here then go away, go away? You see, this is what I mean by Saran Oh, so usually I will, I will avoid this uh this penny shares. Penny share, we call it penny share with no reason, with no reason, with no rhyme or reason, try to go up. Okay. So YTL power is also not something uh, I'm trading, so I'll probably give you a miss. So tonight, not a lot of opportunities from these uh, results over here. Okay, so uh, let me start the seminar proper. Uh, my name is Yi Hua. Let me show you my profile. Uh, this is me. Okay, so this is me talking to you. Uh, this is the only interview I have uh, by the mainstream media, and that was a Chinese newspaper. So uh, you see the quote here is in Chinese. Okay, it's in Chinese. But tonight's webinar, I'm going to use English. Okay, because the last time I do a poll, a lot of people say they want uh, English rather than Mandarin because maybe my Mandarin cannot make it. People don't understand my Mandarin. Right, so I'm going to use English. So welcome to tonight's uh, live webinar. And uh, for those of you who are here right now, okay, this could be the last free training that uh, we are conducting. Could be, okay, could be the last because the MCU is ending soon as well. And we, we have uh, been starting on this particular promotion for quite some time. And let me show you the promotion. So this uh, training series is tied in line to let you give you a taste of how we do, we do charts analysis and trading. Okay, so it is, uh, where, 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 where is it? Oops, right here. Let me show you the let me show you the, prom, the, the the promotion that we are doing now. Oh man, it is way, 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 way below. Okay, let me let me just screen through. Let me just scroll through. Okay, we've got uh, some of the uh, new uh, bundle services coming up for promotion in uh, May. Okay, so this could be this could be one of the last few where I'm gonna talk about price action and to train you on how to read charts. Okay, this is the actual method that we use in the Traders Club as well. Okay, some of you are Traders Club member who are joining in tonight. Okay, so let me show you the, the, the bundle that is so far away. I forgot to pin it to the top. That is why I'm scrambling to find the, the post now. Oh. It, it takes some time. This is my. This is the time when we have FP Group Revenue SLVS Top Glove. Okay, Top Glove still holding. Okay, if you are holding gloves company, uh, don't need to bother about selling uh, because the it is no brainer that the gloves company are making money. Okay, so they are going to be announcing better and better quarterly earnings. So there's no need to to worry about selling this gloves company yet. Okay, they are in a very strong trend. Okay, they are in a very strong trend, so we will probably just uh, hang on to those uh, glove stocks. I myself, together with the community, have top glove. We, we traded care plus before, uh, two three weeks ago. Okay, but we got shaken out and, and took a profit on that stock. But, but after that, it continued to go up. So later, we go through the chart together as well to see any things that we can learn together. Okay, care plus and okay, where is my Okay, I'm trying to find you the I'm trying to find the the poster to show you, but I'm struggling to find it. Mm, let me see, is there a quicker way to do it? Should be under photo be easier. Okay, so just uh, let me take a quick look from here and see if I can find it there. Like that is here. Okay, so this is the current promotion that uh, you have a chance to be part of Traders Club member for the next 
60 days, two months only. After that, no more. Okay, no more. So usually it is a 12 month uh, membership, okay, at a higher fee. So now we give you a chance to join us and learn, okay, how to trade in two months. Learn how to trade in two months, okay? So this is the promo I'm talking about. Uh, we'll come to that later. Let's continue with our stock analysis, okay? So this is the screener that I'm using every night to look up for stocks. So tonight I have just uh, went through, these are the signals that I'm using now. CNX up, la, trend master to look for trend, price pullback with low volume. Okay, so I'm using this to screen out for stocks. You can see in the Singapore market, don't have, okay, today don't have. But what I want to show you is five days ago, what kind of company are we interested in? Okay, biolytics. Okay, now you see this stock comes down today, but before it comes down, the most important thing is why does the software have a signal to buy here? Okay, why does the software have a signal to buy here? So this is what we are going to learn tonight. Okay, how do you buy a stock before it goes up? Okay, before it goes up. So I'm going to go back to my screen over here and move it back to uh, KL stocks. Okay. Five days ago, we have a stock. Uh, let me see. Where's the oh 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 OCN cash? Okay, OCN cash. There you go. Right. So five days ago, uh, OCN cash gave us a signal right here on this day. Okay, so what do you see from this chart here? Okay, now don't pay attention to after it has already gone up. Uh, so it is meaning, meaningless if you start to pay attention to the, to the stock price here after it moves up. What is more important is what is this signal telling us about and why should we take the signal? Okay, so what we are talking about here tonight is when you take a look at the chart, what is the first thing you must see? Okay, what is the first thing you must see? You must take, you must know this. This red and green bar is called the volume bar. Okay, transaction, volume transaction. That means it is the whole day's transaction of the stock from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So when you look at a stock chart, okay, I will look at all these volume spike that you see here. The volume spike. This volume spike tells me that the trading volume is unusually high. Okay, it's unusually high. So when the trading volume is unusually high, okay, we want to know what is the stock doing? Is it going up or is it coming down? So if it's going up, it means that the buyers are in control. If it's coming down, it means that the sellers are in control. Okay, I hope this makes sense to you because if it's going up, the only way for a stock chart, stock price to go up is, for example, let's talk about this candle over here. Is at 47 cents. Okay, 47 cents. So for it to go up, it must clear the sell queue. You know, in trading, you have the buy sell queue, right? You have the buy sell queue. Okay, you have the buy sell queue here. Buy queue, sell queue. Correct or not? So in order for, let's say, K plus to go up to 40 cents. Okay, now it's today it closed at 37 and a half. So if you want to see it go to 40 cents, you will see sell queue over here. It will take out the whole 1.7 million shares over here, and then it will move to the next level, which is 380. Buy up some more, clear the sell queue, clear the sell queue from 380 to 385 to 390, and all the way to 40 cents. So it requires a buying action, okay? Hunt down the sell queue. That is how a stock price can go up. So if a stock price goes up with super high volume, okay, and close higher, it means that buying is uh, strong. Okay, buying is strong. So similarly, if you see a share price coming down, okay, it means it open at 57 and a half cents. And then throughout the day from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., keep gonna sell, 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 and finally close at 50 cents. Okay, those of you who are new, totally new, okay, I'm gonna show you this. Uh, this is today's uh, action. So let's talk about Hata. Okay, Hata, you can see today it was down seven cents. Take a look at the day high, seven. 7 ringgit and 72 cents to finally close at 750. So how did it happen? It means that from 772, it gonna selling. Sell to 771, sell to 770, 769, 768, and so on until it closed at 750. 
okay, until you close at 750. So whenever you see high volume and then the price comes down, it means that the sellers are in control. So these are the two key principles when you look at trading volume in comparison to the candlestick, okay? So now what is candlestick? Okay, candlestick will record the intraday value like the open price, the high price and the lowest price of the day and then the closing price, the four information all inside this candle over here, okay? So let's talk about this white candle here, 4th of March on my screen. Okay, you can see that the opening price of this candle is 47 cents. Okay, that means when the market opened at 9 a.m., this stock is doing 47 cents. Then throughout the day from 9 to 5, it go and touch the high of 55 and a half cents, the highest it ever uh, achieved on 4th of March. And then the lowest it ever go to is 46 and a half. And finally close at 55 cents. Okay, and finally close at 55 cents. So this is the open high low close of today's uh, of uh, 4th of March action. So you come to this black candle. Uh, this is the open high low close of this day's action. All right, the trading volume is these two long bar over here. So once you take a look at the volume spike, we call this the volume spike. Okay, you want to see what color is the candle. Okay, again, white candle means buying, black candle means selling. So you see this. You see? White candle, white candle. Whenever it has such a long black candle, long black candle, what is the trading volume like? More seller or more buyer? Okay, if you take a look at one, two, three, four, five, these five candles over here. Now you tell me, do you see more buyers or more sellers? Okay, give me a response in the Facebook and over at YouTube, give me a response in the YouTube, okay? If you think more buyers, type buyers. If you see more sellers, you type seller. I see whether are you following me. Or not. Do you understand what I'm talking about earlier? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. These five candles. Do you think more buyer or more seller? Who is in control? Buyer in control or seller in control? Okay, I'm seeing respond over at uh, YouTube. Buyer, buyer. Okay, Alex and Mr. Tai. Well done. Kelvin Su. Hey, Kelvin Su, new member. Yeah. Candle stop. Oh, also member. Buyer, buyer. Correct. Uh. So buyers are in control. Okay, very simple because you see the volume spike, it is white candle, white candle, okay? This is not a white candle, but when you see long black candle selling like that, this selling is very fierce. Huh? It is down like how many percent? Okay, it is down how many percent? From 57 and a half to 49 and a half, okay? 49, 50 cents. Okay, so more than 10%, okay? So it is very fierce, very fierce. So whenever such a sharp sell off happen, you see the volume is lesser. So over here, this period, we know the buyers are in control. The price can still come down, okay? The thing is price can still come down, but doesn't matter, okay? What is more important is after that, can the price go up? If a stock has got sellers in control, then I, you cannot expect the price to go up because no one wants to buy, all right? So now you, you take this concept, you apply here, okay? You apply here before the price goes up over here, okay? Now, uh, before that, nah, okay, over here you saw that eight hey, buyers are in control. Then after that, the stock come down. The whole world global stock market, every stocks also come down. So that one is perfectly normal, right? So after that, the price starts to go sideways and then with very normal and average trading volume. You see? So this is the time where don't need to bother about this stock. When should you get excited about this stock? When this candle comes. Because when these candles come, you saw a high volume spike again. Do you understand what I'm talking about? If you understand, give me a fireworks of likes. Come, let's have some interaction so that I know you are following. Okay, this is my only way to know that you are online, <laughs> that you are following what I'm saying. Okay, give me a fireworks of like.
you know how to do it? Okay, let me let me let me own self own self like own self. Uh. Eh, I cannot like the, the video. Ah, I saw the first thumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, beautiful, 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 beautiful. You know, okay, okay, very nice. So uh people at uh Facebook understand, people at the YouTube. I saw some people click on the like button, seven of you. Okay, so for YouTube, uh, YouTube, uh, you click here, you know, you click here, you click here. Okay, you click here, that, ah, that, that, okay? Then I know you all are paying attention. Okay, so you, you like from there. All right, so I shall begin. So when this comes in, we don't want to buy immediately. Okay, we don't want to buy immediately. What we want is to wait for it to show us that it is really uh, bias in control. Now, how do we know? When the next few days, it comes down with lower volume. Now, if the sellers are back to sell this stock, you will see big, long black candle bar with high selling volume. Just like what I saw in SL Vest later, I will share with you. Okay, that tells you that, oh, seller come into the stock. Also, you have to be careful. It may come down further. So now when you see Ocean Cash, or Ocean Cash, OCN Cash comes down with average volume, but when it go up, it's high volume. It means that buying is more than selling. Okay? Now, when do we buy? We buy when the volume comes back into the stock again on this particular day. On this particular day, we want to buy the stock. Okay? And then our anticipation is the stock should continue to go higher like this. Right? So this is how I found OCN Cash and traded together with the Traders Club. Okay? By flowing the flow of the smart money. When buyers are in control in this chart, we like this chart. Now, this is the daily time frame. Okay, what I'm going to show you is the weekly time frame as well. Because when we do analysis, we want to have many different time frame okay, to get a sense of the bullishness of the stock, whether the stock is bullish or bearish. The higher time frame you go, the more important it is. So over here, this platform we have got weekly, we've got daily, we've got monthly. So this is the daily, we saw the bullish action, we go to the weekly, okay? Once you come to the weekly, right, you follow this selling. This selling, every stock will have, okay? The first two weeks of March, everyone's going to the selling. So when the selling happen, what you want to observe right here on OCN Cash is the selling volume uh, this week is so much lower than the first week, okay? So much lower than the first week. And when the OCN cash starts to rumble and start to rally upwards, you saw a healthy increasing volume on the weekly chart. It's telling you that the demand, the buyers step back into the stock. Step back into the stock. Now, I particularly like OCN cash uh, weekly chart is because when with the increasing volume, uh, we clearly see that the increasing volume is more than when it's coming down. Can you see? Okay, can you see? So this is before we buy the stock, we need to check weekly chart. Is it bullish or bearish? If it's bullish, then we go to the daily chart and look for the time to buy the stock. And then remember, you, you look at the chart on the weekly chart, it's showing that the buying is coming back into the stock. But when you go to the daily chart, you also can see that hey, actually no seller here. No? Every time volume spike is white candle, somewhere so long, so long. Right, so it's telling you that hey, this stock, uh, much of buyer is still in control, right? Okay, now those of you who understand what I'm talking about here, give me likes again. Okay, because I saw there's a spike in the number of participants now, I'm looking at 120 over at Facebook. Thank you very much for joining in. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So I saw the YouTube site, the likes are starting to jump up. Very good. Okay, that means you understand what I'm talking about. Okay, I only saw a little bit of uh, likes over at this uh, thumbs up over at Facebook. So maybe not a lot of you understand is it. Okay. Oh, suddenly all the likes come out already. Okay, right. So you see this OCN chart, Daily chart buyer in control, weekly chart also buyer in control. So this is the kind of chart we want to trade. Lo. Oh, so this is the kind of chart we want to trade, right? So the next one uh, that I'm going to, okay, OCN cash. So let me share with you this uh, over here. 
right? Uh, how we traded together with the Traders Club members. So this is a private uh, Facebook group, okay? Only for members. So see, I was just gonna show you how we do it. Now OCN Cash right here. Okay, now this is the same thing I explained to the members. Now when, again, to recap, when did I find the stock? I found the stock on this day. Okay, when I do my daily screening, when I do my daily screening, I found the stock on this day. But I do not buy immediately. Okay, you see, I only inform all the members to pay attention to this stock uh, after the white candle comes out on this day. Yesterday, 4.22 p.m. Okay, this is yesterday. The date is here. Okay, yesterday, 22, uh, yeah, uh, the day before, 22nd of April. Okay, 22nd of April. Okay, when the buying comes in, then I inform the member, okay, this stock confirm bullish, buyer step back in. Volume today is high enough, okay? So more than the consolidation time. So, okay, time to muscle. Okay, so this is how I, I share with my members so that we can take advantage of this uh, movement. Right now, today, a lot of stock in the afternoon gonna selling. Now, this is my watch list of stocks that I'm following every day. You can see, uh, Early in the day, it was all green. Then after that, slowly as the day progresses in the afternoon, we saw a lot of stocks go into the red. Okay, go into the red. Now, those of you who joined my uh, training in the first week of April, you know that that time I was looking at FP group and uh, revenue. Okay, FP group and revenue. Where's my revenue? Right here. Okay, but these two stocks we already sold uh, this week because the chart is not chanted anymore. Okay, not bullish anymore. Let me show you FP group. Okay, FP group. Uh, before that, let me show you the message where I inform everybody to claw this uh, FP group. Yeah, okay, FP group. Revenue and FP group update three days ago. Do this Thursday, three days, Tuesday, lo. Tuesday or Monday. Yeah, I can't remember. Tuesday or Monday. So for the second time, both stock failed to close higher with high volume. You see. The stock never close higher with high volume. Okay, so two things we can do. Either we tahan the pullback and see how low it can go or we lock in the profits and watch show. But I lock in the profit and watch show. Come back again another time. Okay, FP group and revenue. Now, why did I do that? Firstly, on the weekly chart, okay, on the weekly chart, you can see that FP group is trading higher and it is coming lower and lower in volume. That to me uh, is a warning sign, okay? That to me is a warning sign, okay? It doesn't mean that it will crash. It's just that there is weakness in the chart. In the chart. So it is not the time for me to uh, write on FP group, okay? I'd rather take the profit and step aside and watch show. So if all else good, then I'll come back to FP group. The other reason why I sell it is also because it has been going up one, two, three, four, four consecutive weeks. That means one month. So the probability of, uh, of a pullback, okay, of a consolidation of a pullback in FP group is very realistic. Okay, I will use the word realistic. So the odds is more, uh, more towards a pullback than it continue to go up five weeks, six weeks. Okay, now here you can do it uh, because November, October, that time bullish market. Uh, now is the market bullish? I don't think so. Uh, a lot of uh, bad news in the market. Okay, so is the reason why on the weekly chart and then on the daily chart okay on the daily chart you can see before okay right here okay this is where we bought uh fp group okay you can see that the volume over here you can also tell that the buyers are in control over here right the buyers are in control over here okay it's very good that you uh, automatically uh, thumbs up so that I need to stop and ask you to, to do thumbs up or so that I know that you are following me. Okay, so it's very good. You're, you're uh, automatically going to click your thumbs, uh, thumbs up. Okay, so it's very good. So uh, so that I don't have to stop and, and ask you to see whether you understand or not. Because sometimes when I see the screen, you all never do anything. I don't know whether uh, you're following or you are uh, lost. Okay, so now this is the day where we saw our first uh, time when we traded FP group. I thought the market is going to crash soon. You see, such a high volume and the price okay, doesn't go up. Uh, it's usually a warning sign, okay, a warning sign. But after that, two candles later, you can see the volume getting lower and the price never come down. So this is where we can look for an opportunity to muscle again and we muscle uh, on this day, okay, on this day, on this day. 
Okay, this is 14th of April. Those of you from the first video, you, you will remember this. Okay, you can see that over here, the buyers are still in control. Okay, the buyers are still in control. Okay, and even when we see such a bearish candle, okay, when you see such a bearish candle, the stock unable to close at the high, but close at the low, near the day low, with such a high volume, oh, it means that this stock is, on this day, is bearish. But the thing is, when we see such a bearish candle and the price doesn't come down, okay, the price doesn't come down after a bearish candle, the opposite is true, especially when we see lower and lower transaction volume as the stocks trade sideways. So this one immediately from bearish, it becomes, okay, selling is absorbed, it is consolidation, is in the consolidation uh, mode now and is trading sideways, consolidating, okay? So when the buying come back into the stock, we know that, okay, FP group should be okay. The selling is well absorbed. So we look for another opportunity to buy FP group and we waited here. We didn't buy immediately here, okay? Only when this happened, then I know that the selling is absorbed because, okay, let me just show you here. Okay, like, like this, huh? still not sure whether the buying are, are stronger, the buyers are in control or not, right? You need this to tell you that the buyers are back in control. And then guess what? You need to see the price pull back with low volume. This is something like what we see in OCN cash, but it is easier and more obvious in OCN cash as compared to uh, FP group. So this is where Okay, it continue to come down lower volume. And then this is where it is time to muscle because the volume comes back in. Okay, so this week, the same thing happened. Okay, the same thing happened. You can see that FP group went up, okay, on this day. Uh, this is the three days ago. The volume is very high. Okay, the candle is very small. Okay, so it tells us that, hey, this is uh, sellers are back. Okay, sellers are back. So when we have such a profit, and the whole market that day was, it was Monday, now remember, it was Monday. Okay, so a lot of stock never continue to go higher. And then this FP group comes with such a high volume on this day. You have got profit and you must remember at the back of your mind, the weekly chart is very, very extended. Four weeks up already. Okay, four weeks up already. So I opt to take profit and therefore inform all the members to also uh, consider to lock in the profit and come back another time. Okay, and come back another time. Right then, subsequently on Tuesday, it was very bad. The whole market sell off. Wednesday, yesterday, KK tried to bounce a bit. Then today, it continued to come down. Okay, but what we can see is the trading volume get lower and lower again. Yeah? Okay, get lower and lower again. Maybe another opportunity lies in the weeks ahead. But for me, what I prefer and make it an easier decision to trade FP group again is the weekly chart. Okay, I would prefer to see a pullback. Okay, a pullback. That means this week, next week, you pull back two weeks for me. But the second week pull back volume lower. When the volume is lower, I know all I need to do is to wait for the buyers to step back into the stock. Then my, my chance of making a successful trade will be higher. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you understand what I'm saying, a round of uh, likes, please. A round of thumbs up, please. You see, I, I cannot... I cannot predict that it will continue to go up from here, but I know if it can come down with lower volume, all I need to do is to wait for the next uh, strong day and then and the next uh, high volume white candle day, then I know the time to buy is there. Okay, okay I saw some likes. All right, so this is how we, we do it in uh, FP group, sell first, ask question later. Okay, ask question later. So today it is still trading below our sell price. Okay, let me see if I can show you some conversation I have with the members on the FP group. This is revenue, SLVS, okay, and revenue, FP group, okay, FP group, there you go. Ah, FP group. Okay, I want to show you my, uh, my last analysis in uh, FP group to share with you. Okay, there you go. FP group, lock in profits till the next time. 
All right, so this is the message that I showed uh, everyone that, okay, time to get our FB group and then we come back again, All right? So FB group and then uh, revenue, revenue, I'll leave it to the, to the last CCK, okay? Now CCK is a stock that we cut loss on, okay? We cut loss on because again, this is the day where, okay, this, where, where, when did we buy CCK? Let me see, uh, when did we buy CCK? Okay, I, I want to be exact with you so that we know our, our time. When did we buy CCK? Okay, CCK Kaloa two days ago and CCK, we should have a alert on CCK right here. This is Solar Vest, we bought Solar Vest, CCK, this is Solar Vest, CCK special, nine days ago, last week. Okay, now when, when did we buy? Right here. Okay, so it is a uh, 13 of April. The 13 of April is here. Ah, there you go. Okay, now CCK, I, I think last week's uh, video, I talked a lot about CCK. So this is how it looks like. Okay, buyers are in control again to get a chart. Okay, buyers are in control. Those of you who are here uh, last week, right, you will understand the buyers in control. Okay, high volume. Okay, and then when they pull back lower and lower in volume. So this is our sweet spot. Okay, this is our sweet spot. You may have heard about uh, stock chart being bullish, stock chart being bearish. So at this stage, uh, when we see such a high volume spike, it means buying. Okay, white candle, uh, so it means buying. When it pull back, this is what we call the AK state. It's not the bullish state, it's not the bearish state, but we call it the AK state. Okay, AK stands for Akan Tata. Okay, that means we are waiting for the white candle to come in before we buy. So the white candle came in, you muscled CCK, okay, on the 13th, okay, muscled CCK, and then so you CCK pull back before it make another move up, okay, before it make another move up. Now, when it made another move up on this day, everybody was excited, 52, 53 cents. We thought that, okay, so this CCK could, could run up further, but it didn't go up, uh, okay, it finished such a black candle like this. Okay, does it look like a bearish candle to you? Selling, high volume, price doesn't go up. Okay, in fact, the volume is even higher than the white candle is telling me that a lot of sellers. Okay, some more with a long upper deal. Long upper deal and high volume usually means bad news. Okay, so I opt for safety, cut the stock, lose about one or two bits, and then next day, CCK never drop down further and start to stabilize. Okay, and this is today, I think, today. Yep, today. Volume getting lower and lower. Okay, so there is a chance uh, that the sellers over here is where I drop. So all I need to do is to wait for another long white candle, okay, to set it up nicely. Okay, the good news now is this week, though the market swing up, swing down, swing up, swing down, what we notice is uh, it is not very big sellers over here. When you see CCK, you check Lei, Lei Hong, because all of them are X, right? you check Lei Hong, okay, you will see that it behave exactly the same or Tio Sing. Uh, or Tio Sing is the weaker one, yeah? Tio Sing is the weaker one. You, you don't see a long white candle bias in control, very obvious in Tio Sing, okay? But you do see in Lei Hong and CCK. So this round, if you want to trick chicken stock, uh, I think CCK still can consider. Okay, when we see the long white come back into the CCK. Now, this is Lei Hong. Okay, you can see this is the first long white candle with high volume. After that, two candles with lower and lower volume. Okay, now, I would like to check the fundamentals with my Viva. Okay, once I put that up, uh, you will realize why I choose CCK to trade instead of uh, Lei Hong. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the two stocks over here. Now, based on this diva, okay, this diva, it, it crunches about five years of annual reports of this listed company and present them into very easy to read color codes. Okay, so the first column is called the dividend health check, followed by the revenue and net income trend cash flow of the company, does the company owe the banks a lot of money, the debt level, okay? How profitable is the company? The effectiveness of the management, that means the return on uh, equity for the shareholders, okay? And the financial health check. You can see that 
of the three chicken stock, Hyo Seng and CCK are the better one compared to Lei Hong in terms of the fundamentals from our Quant's model over here. But if you look between Tio Seng and CCK, you can see that uh, Tio Seng revenue and net income is higher, excellent, than CCK. Okay, but CCK's financial is better, is excellent. Okay, it's excellent than Tio Seng. And then uh, Tio Seng has got high debt, CCK has got low debt. Okay, therefore, if I were to trade chicken stock, I will use Tio Seng as a proxy and then time my entry into CCK. Okay, because this, this stock, like they move in, in the whole sector, the whole sector will move together. So when CCK is strong, okay, Tio Seng, Lei Hong, usually the chart will also go up together, but who will remain up? Okay, who will remain up? From the chart, it looks like uh, CCK. Okay, it looks like CCK to me because if I compare these three, CCK chart is nice. The FA is also good. So I prefer to go to CCK than uh, Lei Hong because Lei Hong, we know the fundamental is not the best. It's not the best. Only the chart looks strong. But my method is to combine uh, fundamentals together with the TA. Okay, there must be a reason for a stock to go up. So if the reason is missing and only the chart is strong, I'm only fighting with 50%. Okay, fighting with 50% of a chance. Okay, what do I mean by this? Now everybody know we are under MCO. Ma. Okay, MCO. So we talk about eggs. Uh, eggs. Um, we saw that the eggs are flying off the shelf and also I have heard news of this eggs price has been increasing. Okay, so this eggs could be the still profitable because uh, they are considered essential items. So they could still be producing eggs and still be uh, selling to the, the supermarket and people like us have been buying the eggs and keeping at home. Okay, so there is a reason uh, for egg stocks to go up. Okay, egg stocks to go up. So that is why uh, two weeks ago, I, I bought this uh, CCK because it has got this buyer in control. But unfortunately, we met with these sellers over here. Now, all we need to do is to wait for the pullback to happen. Okay, just like this, just like this, or, or even like this, like this. It look very similar. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, you can see. So most importantly is if you see bearish candle, sellers in control, but yet the price doesn't come down, we need to wait for the long one. As simple as that. Okay. So this is CCK. Now next is the SLVS. So this week we traded SLVS. SLVS. Two rounds on SLVS. Okay. Now, SLVS, um, right here. Before today, like how we see before today. Now, before today, okay, before today, this is the chart. No, no, no. I should show you before we buy. Because uh, when did we buy SLVS? Okay, we bought on this day. Okay. Now, but why did we bought? Why did we buy yesterday? So this is the consideration that we were looking at. Okay. Now, from this chart. Can you tell whether the buyers are in control or the sellers are in control? Okay, wait, wait. Let me give you two views. Let me give you two views. Okay, just hang on. Yeah, just hang on. Hey, apa lah? My, 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 my intraday chart hang. Okay. Give me one moment. Let me log in back to my intraday chart. Yeah, I log in right here together with you lah. So that you 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 know how to get now. A lot of you may not know that uh we chart nexus have uh you okay not you <laughs> okay we chart nexus have uh, intraday chart. It is uh in Malaysia we have got four brokers using our intraday chart the uh, UOB Kheng, Kanaga, ROHBOSK, and Malaysia Securities. Okay, Malaysia Securities. So this is since I'm here, I show you all the things that I talk about is we traded lah. Huh? This is OCN cash, okay? And this is the top glove that I'm still holding on, okay? So these are the two stocks that I only left. So the rest already clear stock. Uh, are we able to see the clear stock right here? Are there SLS clear today? Okay, so it is not talk, talking talk, talk comma. Uh, it's really, I show you, I show you, this is really what we do. So these are uh, free trainings. Uh, this could be the last session. 
because I see the attendance getting lower and lower and lower. So maybe we already reach out to a lot of people already. All right. So under tools. So if you are looking for real time chart under tools, click on tech analyzer. Okay. And then you click on charts. And then I want to show you uh, solar vest so that you know how to read chart. Uh. Solar vest on the left, I will do solar vest on the weekly chart. Okay, so this is my consideration so before I decide to buy solar vest. Okay, and then this is a solar vest on the daily chart. There you go. Now, this is what I was uh, looking at when I make the decision to trade solar vest. So now I, I, I want you to look at it, okay? Both on these two time frame, weekly chart and uh, daily chart. Are you able, okay, uh, again, uh, left side is weekly chart, right side is daily chart. See two different uh, time frame. So from these two different time frame, can you tell that uh, SL vest is uh, buyers in control or seller in control? Similarly, Type in your answer over at Facebook and also at YouTube. If you think buyers are in control, type buyers. If you think sellers are in control, type sellers. After you type, okay, I see tonight's attendance is very uh, low, only 100 and if I plus together, 130 of you. So if you can, Please help me share out to more of your friends. Okay, share to your wall, share to other trading group you know about. Where if you find this session very uh, valuable and you think that hey, you, you learn a lot from this session, okay, it is not just ting ting gen sui, I really go in depth for you. Okay, so please help me uh, share it out. Okay, share it out. The more people view the video, the more incentivized we want to do uh, because it can reach out to more people. Uh. Or if every time Liao Liao Wu Zi, uh, then not very interesting to do live like this. I might as well do recorded. <laughs> okay. Buyer, buyer, buyer. Correct, correct. A lot of you say buyer, buyer, buyer for uh, SLVS. Is that is correct? Okay. So for those of you who, who couldn't understand, now on the left hand side, okay, this is where you can see the volume increasing. Okay, when it comes down, you can see that these two day, the these two candle, the weekly volume already uh, lesser. Right, and then this week's volume higher than previous week, and it continues to go up with higher and higher volume. Right, so we know the buyers are in control over at the weekly chart. Now, when you go to the daily chart, similarly to OCN Cash, you can see that the volume spike usually is long white candle. This is a very strong clue. Okay, and then when you see long upper tail, this top. In Chinese, we say pa we see. The, the stock, instead of coming down, when you see such a bearish candle, instead of coming down, it traded sideways with lower volume. Something, a key message for you tonight, right? You saw that, hey, this is the pattern that the chart nexus guy was talking about. All right. So, yeah, I forgot to introduce myself, a uh, chart nexus guy. Hey, my name is, uh, by the way, my name is Yi Hua. Forgot to introduce myself. Uh, let me introduce myself proper first. Okay, then I, then I continue. Okay, so this is my... Wow, honey, phone. The, the thing is all over the place. I, I can't even find my own name now. Okay, la, never mind. My name is Yi Hua. Later, I'll show you my face. La. Okay, so this is the SLVS. So this is the daily chart. Okay, you can see the buyers are in control. Every time you see a selling, the stock instead of coming down, it traded sideways and then the buying continue. So this stock at this point in time is bullish. But... This is bearish. This is bearish. You can see such a high volume, okay? Long black candle. This is bearish. So on this day, the stock traded one, two, three, four, four day, and the volume you can see, uh, it is not really low volume, you know? Ah, this chart has got very, very good educational value. That is why I leave it to the last to, to share with you. Okay, to share with you. So before I continue, uh, really, uh, y'all y'all should share this video to to your friends, your group, so that they can learn this very important message. Uh, okay, so I'm going to share with you now right now. But because of this, 
But yet, I, I, I'm having this conflicting thought. At the back of my mind, I saw the weekly chart is strong. Over here, I saw volume is not, say, very low. Okay, it's not very low. This is call low. This is call low. This is not call low. So what can you do? What can you do? We go into the intraday time frame. Okay, now these are all the different time frame. This is a real time chart. Okay, so just now uh, for the first part of seminar, you learn how to see the weekly combined with the daily. Now when the daily doesn't give me the answer I'm looking for, I go down one more time frame, the hourly. Okay, when I go down to the hourly, your eyes will pop up. Your eyes will pop up. The answer is so obvious to you. Okay, are you ready? Okay, there you go. Uh, this is, wait, 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 let me find the time frame for you. Let me find the time frame for you. It, it, it jumped. This is, which day? This is 22nd. 22nd, okay, 22nd. So I move it here. Ah, it is. It is not moving. Okay, so this is today. This is 23rd is today. So this is uh, yesterday. Okay, yesterday. So from here to here. Okay, without this, uh, without this, this is today. So I want to hide today. I, I try to hide. Ah, okay, finally can hide. I hope you can see this long candle here. Eh? I hope you can see this long candle here. Now, yesterday before the market closed, so it was doing around here. Okay, take a look at the time I sent to my members. Okay, what time did I notify them to pay attention to this stock? Uh, thing. SL Best Communicator. Oh, right here. Oops, here. SL Vest. This is OCN Cash. Uh, this is uh, Revenue. And this is SL Vest. 4 13 p.m. Okay, so for the whole part of the afternoon, I was staring at the bloody daily chart. Weekly chart is very strong. Wow, daily chart, mixed bag of signal. But somehow, Okay, because uh, we have traded SLVS uh, one week ago for a quick trade and, and we again, we make money. But then after that, we have to sell because of this candle over here. Okay, SLVS. We sold because of this. Okay, we sold because of this. And after we sell, we expect the price to drop. Right? It never dropped, so it trades sideways. So I'm still very interested in this stock. Okay, so this is what I share with them and this is what I'm going to share with you now. Okay, so I, I look at the daily chart. Something is missing in the daily chart. So in the end, I went to the hourly chart and then I saw the buying. Okay, 4.13 p.m. So this is the, the hour that we bought. As solar vest starts to go up, right? This is where we start to pay attention to solar vest and buy. Okay, before that, right? Why? You take a look at all these volume spikes. Again, when you open up a chart, don't be too anxious to throw up the MACD, la, the RSI, your moving average. La, or don't go and draw and dirty your chart. Don't dirty your chart, okay? This is the cleanest and the purest form, okay? Can you agree with me? Do you agree with me if I say that volume, okay, plus the price is the commitment of the money by the market, by the investor, by the smart money, by the operator, okay? If they want to drive this kind of price, okay, from 85 to 89 cents, such a high volume, it requires cash to drive it up. Right, it requires cash to drive it up. So therefore, volume is very, very important. Okay, so when you see the volume spike, when you open up chart, look at the volume spike. You can see that uh, this SL vest in the hourly chart, you are still looking at a very bullish bias in control kind of chart. Okay, therefore, after contemplating for much of the day at four thirteen p.m., I decided, okay, enough. I think this SL vest should be going up. Well, therefore, I sent out the, the, the message for all the members to pay attention to SL Best. Okay, so how do we know? Right here, again, right here. Okay, right here. And then on the daily chart, you can see that the trading volume are actually uh, yesterday already, already quite high. Okay, already quite high. It's just that it is still neither here nor there. It's not as clear as this. Okay, so I went down to the hourly chart to confirm that there is bias in control. Daily chart volume comes in already, it's time to buy. 
Okay, so that is how uh, we use this candle and volume to uh, look at the chart to decide whether to buy or sell. Okay, so let us go to the last chart of the night revenue. Okay, now revenue we are still waiting to buy. Okay, now you can see that revenue, same pattern, uh, revenue. Okay, you can see the weekly chart. Okay, I'll show you the daily chart first. Okay, the daily chart. This is the daily chart. Okay, can you tell that the... Okay, this one, uh, I would not say the it's very clear cut. Okay, it doesn't, it, it doesn't show that it's very clear cut, but at least can you see that the sellers are not in control? Can you at least see that the sellers are not in control? Right? Okay, and then the buyers. Okay, the buyers. So we are looking at this candle. This candle with such a high volume spike, we are waiting for it to consolidate finish and then the return of the volume to come in before we want to buy revenue again. Now, this is the daily chart, okay? Now, if I go to the weekly chart, I do not get the kind of uh, conviction that I have in other stock because you can see that uh, on the weekly chart, volume is high, okay? But as it goes up, you can see the volume decline lower and lower and lower and lower. So it is not, the strongest of chart on the weekly chart. But I know from the daily chart, it looks kind of uh, buyers are not, okay, the sellers are not in control, but I do not see uh, strong buyers in the stock yet. Okay, therefore we are still waiting for more obvious clue in revenue before we want to buy the stock. Okay, so if you are interested to trade revenue, this is my prognosis, this is my analysis. We do not have enough evidence of bias in control in revenue. Therefore, we are holding back and not buying yet. Okay, now if I go down to the hourly chart of revenue, just like I did it with SLBF, so you may be wondering, hey, then you do the same with uh, revenue. Lah. Okay, so when I come to revenue hourly chart, I also couldn't find a clue, buyer or seller in control. Okay, I still cannot find a, a, the, the clue whether buyer or sellers are in control. Okay, as you can see, Compared to solar vest, uh, it is much simpler to understand. Okay, it is much simpler to understand over here at the uh, solar vest. It's very clear. But come to this uh, revenue, you can see black candle volume also quite high. Oh. Okay, so this is the time where you know if you know how to read these candles with this uh, volume bar, okay, and then uh, the multi time frame, you will be able to look out for where which chart the buyers are in control before you want to decide to buy the stock okay so this is uh, how we use technical analysis to help us okay now all in all um i want to share with you our method so our method is okay, let me open this in a new tab okay our method is let me go to the events okay i have sum up our method in four simple uh, sentences. Okay, firstly, before you buy a stock, you want to see whether it has a fundamental catalyst. Okay, you have to ask yourself this question. Why does your stock have to go up? Now today, if you are looking to buy Upcom, okay, I saw some of you asking me about Upcom. Okay, let's take a look at the Upcom chart. Okay, you, you take a look at this chart. First question you ask yourself is, why must Opcom go up? Does it have a reason to go up? Is the, the network fiber infrastructure thing coming up soon? Is it going to happen soon? Is it going to announce soon? Okay. Now, if it doesn't have a reason to go up, this rally could be a fake hit. You see, you, you may be excited about this right here. Okay. You will also be excited about this right here. Okay, does it make sense to you? You will also be excited about Opcom right here. Right? But if this stock has got no reason to go up, this is the outcome la, after the spike up. Okay, so similarly over here again is having high volume and all that. So you a lot of people ask me, in fact, uh, today they are saying, hey, Opcom can buy now, Opcom can buy now. You take a look at the chart yourself. La. How to buy? 
Is it obvious to you the buyers are in control in this chart? Right? Okay. So the first thing we want to check is the fundamental catalyst. Does this stock has a reason to go up? Now we talk about gloves. Okay, gloves, all of us know because of the PPE, the, the, the glove, the COVID-19, a lot of uh, medical equipment and gloves are required at the hospital. That is why there is a high demand for the gloves. And the gloves company continue to go higher and higher and higher. Supermax, Haka, Dog Glove. Okay, so if we have a low, okay, to buy the stock at a, a lower price, buy already, don't need to ask whether to sell or not. The only time to sell, because now the trend on these rubber stocks are so strong, the earnings trend is so strong, there is no reason to give them up if you own the shares. Okay, if you own the shares, uh, we bought at 560. Okay, now I did not buy here. You know. This is where the virus first break out at Wuhan. I did not buy here because uh, this is too high, too fast, too sudden. Okay, uh, I wasn't paying attention to the nurse company here. But after that, when it starts to pull back, okay, the second round over here, it is time to buy. Why? Take a look at this right here. Okay, can you see that the buyers are in control over here? After it comes down, and then the volume going up is higher. When the buyers are in control, we wait for the pullback again. Can you see? The same tactic that I've been sharing with you the whole evening. All right, then all we need to do is to wait for the long white candle to come in before we buy the stock. Okay, before we buy the stock. And your timing will be perfect. Perfect. Okay, and then the timing will be perfect. Okay, let me show you lah. How five sixty eight? I don't bluff you, you know. There, average price. How much did I buy? Five sixty nine. Okay, close ah. Five sixty eight, five sixty nine, close ah. Okay, so this is that time when we decided to buy right here. I didn't buy here. Okay, I wish I could buy at every low lah, but the truth is trading is not like that. Lah. I need it to bounce with high volume. I wait for the next low volume to be sure that this is strong buyer shaking out of contra player before I muscle the stock. So this is my additional uh, layer of uh, margin of safety before I want to buy a stock. Okay, so this is um, the gloves company and the next point, okay, fundamental catalyst. So the next point is we need to look at a chart whether the buyers are in control or the Sellers are in control. Oh, Sunny Coco is uh, online. Okay, buyer or seller in control. So uh, the whole evening you have been learning uh, chart reading from me already. So I already explained to you how to see buyer in control or seller in control. So you use the multi time frame to help you assess further if you require. If typically, if you can find out from the weekly chart and daily chart, that should be sufficient. But if you need to, you can go down to the hourly chart, okay? And then you plan the trade. Now, what I didn't share with you today is the exact uh, what price to buy and where to put your stop loss. Because from your entry price to your stop loss is where you set your um, position sizing. Okay, position sizing. So if you do not know how to do this, okay, plan the trade, you have to learn it. Okay, and then last, next and then lastly is you execute the trading plan and you look out for edits. Okay, look out for edits. So, for me, I do not set a price to sell. Okay, I do not set a price to sell. I, I have a very loose, not loose. Uh, I have, I, I really like the price move swing. So if the stock can continue to go higher and higher and higher and higher, okay, then I will just let the stock go higher where possible. Okay, unless I see selling in the stock, otherwise I will hang on to the stock and do not sell. Right, so that is my, my style over here. Right, so if you want to know how to do the trading plan. The, now you know how to identify stocks, but exactly what price to buy. This is the video to learn from, okay, under units, okay, right here. How to identify volume trigger. We are using this volume, okay, as our point of entry, okay, something very unique in the marketplace. Without volume, if we are handicapped. So we need to wait for the right volume to come into the stock before we buy the OCN cash, the SL best, okay, even the FP book, the revenue, okay. So without that, we don't want to anyhow buy a stock. Volume is 
commitment of uh, the money into the stock. So once it comes in, right, it usually will push and drive the stock higher. Okay, so I'm going to spend the next uh, five minutes to explain to you uh, what my program, my mentorship program can help you in your trading. So today, if you uh, do not know what stocks to trade and you know a bit of technical analysis or even if you are brand new, this is the private group that you can join for the next two months. Okay, for the, hey, sorry, not, not this one, for the next uh, two months. And then you get access to this. Okay, this is where we will have all my training video already pre-recorded right here. Okay, take this chance, 60 days during this MCO to quickly learn how to trade the stock market. Okay, pick up a skill during this MCO and then it will serve you for the rest of your uh, years to come. Okay, so this is the video, training video and the units. Discussion is where after we got into a trade okay, or we are shortlisting a particular trade, we will follow the trade and post up the commentary right here. Okay, for all the members to understand, hey, can we uh, enter the stock? Okay, what are we looking at? Is the stock still bullish? Is it still bearish right here? All this conversation right here. Okay, so this is where we, we talk to all the members. Now, uh, if you are working, okay, you got no time to look at the market the whole day. This broadcast system, okay, Malaysia Traders Club, is where I broadcast the trading plan to you. Okay, so this is SL Vest and OCN Cash Kaloa today. Okay, today. So this is where I inform the user why? Why do we get out of the stock so that you learn and you trade at the same time? Okay, during these 60 days, pick up a skill. Now, every day, at least two messages, opening bell and half time. Half time is where I will highlight and give you a summary of all the stocks that we are looking at and whether I will hold or I will sell. Okay, and what are we looking at? The whole plan at half time. Opening bell is today's uh, trading plan. Okay, like this revenue, we are looking at revenue today, but no chance to buy because it didn't trigger our volume trigger. Okay, our volume trigger didn't trigger our volume trigger, so we didn't buy revenue. So we are still waiting. Okay, waiting for more bullish sign into revenue. You can see uh, buyers in control. Okay, so this is uh, let's see CK Kaloa. Right, I'm going to exit by today. So all this is a broadcast system. And you will also get access to this screening uh, tool, which every week I will conduct a webinar. Let me show you this week's webinar. Okay, to train you how to use the tool and also how to analyze and come up with the whole trading plan with the four steps I mentioned about. 20th of April. So this is I update the revenue, FP Group and CCK. Okay, so this is a weekly webinar that all the members will look forward to. We summarize this week's trades, okay, review. Okay, what's going on in the market? Like this week, I tell you a lot of stock didn't have the strong momentum to continue. And then next week, okay, what to look out for, okay? So this is what you will get. And you will also, okay, uh, that's all. Okay, so um, for a two months subscription, so if you're interested to join me in this training, okay, let me show you where is the, where is the training at, okay? If you're interested to join us in this training, you can go to our website. Okay, you can go to our website. Ah, I'm getting all over the place. Okay, I will pin up the, I will pin up the contact information so that you are able to contact us via WhatsApp. Okay, so that you get an uh, instant uh, response. If you have any question like, eh, uh, how long does the training last? What do I get eh, right here? Okay, I'll pin this up. Pin in tab. Okay, okay I'll pin this up into the pin in tab. Okay, so it will be on the first page of our trader's card, uh, of our um, Facebook page. Okay, then you can contact us. Still showing me. All right, so I've come to the end of this uh, webinar. Thank you very much for joining me. And for the rest of the videos, if you, are, if you have missed the first three sessions, they are inside our YouTube channel right here. Okay, look at past live streaming right here. So you can go in and learn uh, our method and uh, hope that it can serve you well.
Okay, so uh, thank you very much for your time tonight. I will pin up the contact information. So if you're interested to join us, uh, do give us a WhatsApp message and then uh, hopefully I can help you in your trading. Thank you very much and I will see you in the training program. Bye. Or at the next video.